This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. 2020 is a great year for movie purists. Tenet, No Time to Die, and Wonder Woman all feature the use of IMAX film cameras. Better yet, not only did Wonder Woman 1984 use IMAX film cameras for some shots, but the entire movie is shot on film. Coming up, I'll give you some reasons as to why the sequel to the 2017 movie is something you'll want to catch in theaters, with some exclusive statements from IMAX to Movie University. Welcome to Movie University. On this channel, we delve into all types of topics so if you like what you see, consider subscribing and leave a comment below on something you'd like me to cover or how you plan on seeing Wonder Woman 1984. This video is done at the request of several of you. To answer your question, yes. To get a very detailed answer of the differences between IMAX Digital, IMAX Laser, and IMAX 70mm Film, or the difference between IMAX 70mm Film and the other formats out there, Head over to this video where I have answers from IMAX talking about the differences in the formats. For Wonder Woman 1984, here are three big reasons why to pay the extra to see Wonder Woman in IMAX 70mm film or any other film location if you can find it. Number one, unlike a lot of movies that brandish the IMAX name on their theatrical posters or trailers, director Patty Jenkins shot several selected scenes using IMAX film cameras. These cameras are still considered the gold standard of filmmaking with some movie enthusiasts saying digital camera technology still cannot replicate what IMAX film can. Presumably, the scenes that will use IMAX film will be the action sequences or something that will take advantage of some surrounding scenery. There's no way to know how much of the final product will have IMAX footage until we see the movie. IMAX told Movie University that currently we are not outlining specific breakdowns per film. Number two. Not only were certain scenes shot using IMAX film cameras, but the entire movie was actually filmed with cameras. These include some older 35mm cameras. A lot of times you'll hear in the media about a movie being filmed, but in this day and age of digital technology, movies and TV shows are recorded more than filmed. But not Wonder Woman 1984. This is neat because film offers a more natural look and period feel to the final picture, whereas digital cameras can sometimes give an image that is too sharp in a very modern look. Yes, digital post-production can add the film grand look to an extent, but knowing the movie was made with equipment closer to what was actually used in the 20th century gives an authentic period feel to the movie when you watch it. IMAX told Movie University that, Film versus digital comes down to the creative vision the filmmaker has intended for their project as any movie optimized for IMAX and shown in our theaters produces deeper contrast, brighter images, a wider gamut of colors, and crisper visuals for a truly immersive experience. Those selected sequences filmed with IMAX cameras are going to be big. Not to be confused with IMAX digital cameras or other high quality digital cameras from RED or ARRI, IMAX film cameras offer what is called a large frame format. These types of cameras have bigger sensors allowing more light and greater detail to be recorded. These sensors sometimes come in different ratios or screen layouts. When you go to an IMAX 70mm theater, the entire screen will be filled with a picture because of the IMAX camera's ability to capture a larger section of image. IMAX had this to say regarding their screen format and scenes shot with their cameras versus digital cameras. Scenes shot with this camera will expand to fill the entire screen, allowing moviegoers to experience more of the image. There's truth to what they're saying here, but it's not the full picture. To learn more about IMAX's claim of filling up the entire screen, head over to my other video about the format where I go into depth over this. A majority of you won't be able to see Wonder Woman in IMAX 70mm film, just because there are so few locations left. However, chances are, if you live in or near a big city, there will be a movie theater that will show it in either IMAX 70mm film standard 70mm film or 35mm film. I've put a link in the description below to a list of IMAX theaters. What format do you plan on seeing Wonder Woman 1984 in? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe. This is Movie University, education and cinema.